Allison here, and in today's FileMaker tutorial, we are going to learn a specialty find. So you're going to get some super pro tips on how to find records that if you did not know these techniques, you would not be able to find them. So let's get started. So I am looking at a contact list, and I have 1,083 uh, contacts and they have a contact type, and they are assigned a rep. And I would like a list of corporate clients who do not have Nick as a rep. So in order to figure out what that number should be, I'm going to go in and do a find on contact type corporate, and perform the find, and I find that there are 255 corporate contacts. And then I'm going to go in and do a find on contact type corporate and Nick. Perform the find. And there are 86. So if I take the list of 255 and subtract the 86 that are Nick's, I get 169. That's exactly what I would like my list to be. Except how do I get that list of names? I challenge you to pause for a moment and think about how you might do that not as obvious as it would appear. So let's make an attempt at it. I'm gonna go into find mode, and I think to myself, okay, I don't want Nick, so let's choose Nick and click the omit button. And then I do want corporate. So I'm gonna choose that and hit perform find. Um, wait a minute, there's 833. That's not what I was looking for or expecting. I was thinking there was going to be 169. So something went very wrong here. So before I dive into what went wrong, I am going to show you the right way to build this find so that you can get at the 169. And it's simply by changing the order of the requests. So if we go into find and we type contact type uh, corporate, first and then add our new request and uh, fill in Nick and oh, choose omit and then hit perform find there's our 169 which is exactly what we were looking for so first off this really demonstrates how the order of your requests really matters and can affect the results so I think it's worth going into the other list and figuring out what went wrong. So if I go ahead and choose Nick and omit a new request and uh, corporate and then perform find, there's my 833. And when you look, so Nick and corporate are there. That's exactly what I didn't want, which is a little confusing. But then if I take a closer look, I realize that anything that's not corporate, none of Nick's, um, Nick's contacts are there. Like, really, like, not what I wanted. And so to explain what happened, when I first was struggling with this, I'm like, you know, what went, what's going on here? I just, I didn't understand it. So I had to break it down. And I had to think about a file room, and it had 1,083 cards on it with contact names and bits of data like contact type and rep. And in this room, I sent a minion, and I made my first request. And I said, okay, go in and um, pull out all the cards that have Nick, right? And so they pulled out all the cards that have Nick. Um, and then they came out and said, okay, I'm ready for my second request, and I gave them the second request. You know, go back in the room and pull out all the cards that are uh, uh, corporate. So he's got this pile, right, of cards that are there that don't include Nick. And so now he goes through all the cards in that pile, pulls out corporate, and he also goes into the other pile because I told him, go get you know, corporate. So he pulls out all of those as well. And so now he has a pile of 833 cards. Did exactly as was told, but not what I wanted. So the order really matters here. 
if I flipped the requests for the minion and said, okay, go into that room with 1,083 cards and pull out all the corporate cards. And so first request goes in, comes back with 255 cards. Then I say, okay, now of those 255 cards, go ahead and pull out any that say Nick. Terrific, now I'm left with a pile of 169, which is exactly what I was looking for. So if we were to come back to FileMaker and sort of replicate um, what this looked like to get, get at this 833, it might clarify a little bit. So if we were to go in and do these requests individually and say, okay, let's omit Nick. That was the first request that we officially told Dominion, right? So that's 747 cards that are left sort of on the table uh, from the first request. Then if we go back into find and we say, okay, which was our second request, corporate, and we extend the found set because you already did the first request and we want to extend the found set, there's our 833. So there is a sense to it, but it takes a little minute to do some math and kind of think about the actions and the logical order of things. Really, really useful in finding things for reports, finding things for lists um, that are a little bit off. And if you didn't know these techniques, you would not be able to pull these lists together. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this or would like some clarity about this particular uh, find technique, then go ahead and ask uh, in the comments. I'm happy to uh, clarify because I know this is a bit tricky here. And uh, if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.